Good afternoon everyone. Today you're looking at a 2001 Baja 342 Boss powered with twin Merc Cruiser 502 engines. The engines have about 270-ish hours. I took a picture of the hour meter for you to reference. The boat comes with the aluminum triaxle trailer that you see here. That's how it was stored over the winter uh, here in Maryland. It was also kept on a lift, so it's never seen bottom paint. The boat was used in the northern Chesapeake Bay. Most of its life came to down uh, to Mid Bay a few times, as we were told, like the Annapolis area, but mostly in the northern Chesapeake Bay, which I tell you that only because it's a mostly uh, fresh water, but it's a brackish water environment. Um, but the engine and outdrives look great. But looks can always be deceiving, right? <laughs> but uh, cause from the outside, they, uh, they do show very well. And it looks like the boat's been taken care of. Uh, the gel coat is in good shape. The stickers have a little bit of... I'm not sure if you can see that. Oh, bah. Stickers are pretty good. Not faded yet. Has a nice shine to it still. A little bit of discoloration here, if you can see that. It does have a full boat cover, uh, as well as a cockpit cover. So a winter boat cover, as well as a cockpit or morning cover for the, you know, in-season use. But overall, well, the compound will actually should come back perfectly fine. No deep gel coat repair areas that we saw. Let me go show you the other side. still has a nice shine to her, as you can see. Nineteen-year-old boat. Still looks pretty good. So, this was a one-owner boat, by the way. So, uh, he traded this in on a new boat. He and his wife have uh, got their fun out of it. Here are the Bravo 1 outdrives. They come with four blade stainless props. They're counter rotating drives, of course. Trim tabs. The K planes. Let me hop up in the boat. The vinyl and interior is in original condition. No major rips or tears. It's not, it's still soft to the touch as you can, well, you'll see when you come and look at the boat. Uh, really, the guy kept this boat in great shape for 19 years. And all original interior, what it appears to be. pop-up cleats excuse me I'm trying to climb into the boat without getting footprints all over it it's inevitable this time of year though back bench seat and all the interior bolsters are in fantastic shape Batteries are located here, twin battery switches located there. Turn them on real quick so I can raise the engine hatch. Excuse me for showing you the back of a seat. Has uh, the original Baja snapping carpet with non-skid and it's a self failing cockpit underneath of that so all the water drains out there are the twin engines
Kalon system, trim tabs, the boat. Uh, all right, so it has 267 on the port engine and 274 on the starboard engine. Captain's call exhaust or silent choice. Have to look, <coughs> Corsa. So it's Corsa exhaust. By the lift of a switch, you can silent everything and make it not too noisy so your neighbors don't get annoyed with you when you're coming in later in the evening. Just wanted to be able to show you what the engines look like. Hydraulic engine hatch, as you can see. Clarion stereo system. You also have your here your bolts your uh, port and starboard captain's chairs with drop down bolsters. They are controlled with the switch here on the left side of the seat, so you can uh, relax and lean while you're going fast or you can sit down and comfort up below the windshield so that you're behind everything. Once again, these seats are also in fantastic shape. No need of uh, upholstery repair in this boat. VHF radio. Here are your gauges on the dash. Standard gauge instrumentation. The uh, gaff rig speedometer gauge does need replacement which we'll probably do uh, unless we don't get to it before somebody uh, makes takes it away but we do plan on addressing that it needs to be replaced that's the worst thing on the boat that I've seen of course uh, your gaff rig shifters as well depth finder AM FM radio your walk through windshield to the bow. Top side still has a nice shine to it. Inside the cabin, you have uh, that little window support has been cracked, but, or, you know, so it won't stay up, but it doesn't leak. Headliner shows well, no uh, signs of water damage. Little refrigerator, wash sink, and microwave, as well as an enclosed head with a electric toilet and a wash sink. Boat has uh, shore power so you can run air conditioning. Do have some staining on the carpet as far as traffic from shoes. But uh, it does have a thermostat right there. But you hook it up to shore power, you can run air conditioning, you can definitely overnight in this boat. It has all your amenities to overnight in it water heater. Don't know if that ever works or if anyone will ever use it, but it does have it. And a uh, nice little table here that's removable. Forward V-berth. There's your full cover. So it's a long boat. But uh, the twin 502's push are pretty nice. I believe uh, you're going to be cruising in the mid 40's. Well, that's a personal preference, right? You cr cruise in the high 30s or, or high 40s. Wide open she probably does about 63 to 65. Not a rocket ship. This isn't a fastest boat on the bay. This is just a really nice performance cruiser, a stock performance cruiser um, that you know at least you won't have as many you know if this were all the custom boats with the big engines are, are nice but they are uh, more temperamental than even these. So um, this is an all stock boat from Baja, or one original owner, well taken care of, as we hopefully have shown you in the video. Well, um, obviously you need to come down and take a look for it. I'm sure we've missed some things. But we're going to go put her in the water and show you how she runs. And she runs very well. Let's go get her in there.
right guys, that's our 2001 Baja 342 Boss powered with twin 502 Merc Cruiser engines, counter rotating drives, four blade stainless steel props. Boat does uh, have the silent choice exhaust or captain's call. The steam you see coming out the back is indeed steam. It's winter here when we're doing this video, so the water temperature is very cold hitting those hot engines. There's the exhaust off. On. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the bottom right hand corner of this video. Click on our logo and you'll see the most up to date videos as we post them. We try to do it on every boat we get into inventory. Subscribe to our Facebook page. And if you want to make sure this boat's still available, give us a check, check out our website at mdboatsales.com or give us a call at 443-324-1368. This is a pretty clean, well, it's a clean boat for the age. Uh, she shows well, never been bottom painted. Fresh water use and uh, trailer stored. Thanks for watching and we'll see you out on the water, guys.